Here we are in Wyoming. At the state capitol in Cheyenne. You see the gold dome on the top? It is actually leafed in real gold. And we read that that is only seven ounces of gold that covered the entire dome. Pretty wild. Yes. And this place does not give a dome tour. <laughs> <laughs> when we first entered the Cheyenne State Capitol, we were told that the building had been renovated about seven years ago. And during that time, they found some old safes that were in here when the building was built back in 1888 to 1890. Um, Shelly's a little nosy, don't you think? <laughs> Definitely. down <laughs> all right we found it we read that one of them that the construction was not perfect because only God can make things perfect so they intentionally put one upside down we're watching the uh, the self-guided tour information one of the things we learned is that the black tiles of marble actually have fossils in them and so once you start looking down you start noticing a lot of them but with this one is definitely the biggest and best we've seen so far. So if you ever show up, consider a scavenger hunt to try to find all the different fossils and find your favorite. The room that we're standing in now is the original part of the state capitol back when Wyoming was a territory. This room is where the state constitution for Wyoming was made. Wyoming is the first state in the country to allow women the right to vote and to hold property and to hold jobs. They did that before they were a state and when they wrote their constitution they weren't trying to decide if they were going to allow women the right to vote in the constitution. They were figuring out how to word it in their constitution and they decided that if they could not become a member of the United States they would decline because the right for women to vote was more important to them than becoming a part of the United States. We are walking in a tunnel that connects one building to another building at the state capitol and in this connector is a gallery of all kinds of different art. And as we're walking by, I saw this Wind River Reservoir, and I said, this is a really cool oil painting. And as we got closer, it is fiber art. Can you see like the rolled fabric that makes all the different colors? I thought it was amazing. So we're up on the third floor, the highest floor that we can get to, and it's just sort of a, a good synopsis of the how it's made from the wood, the tile, and for the self-guided tours, they have these nice little dig deeper placards that you can stop and read, and they have QR codes also to help you uh, watch little YouTube videos about that area. Hi. Hi. This has been fun and interesting, and probably the most interesting fact for me is that this is the first place where women were able to legally get the right to vote. I thought, I really oh. like that. Yes, Debbie brought Shelly, our mascot, along with us for our capital tour this time. She is so proud of herself, isn't she? Might need to start backing up before she's getting me. Hey, Shelly was getting jealous of all of our adventures, so I brought her out today. <laughs> Cheyenne Botanical.
Botanic Gardens. So we finished walking around the inside. They had a desert theme area and like a, I don't know, I wouldn't call it jungle, but they had lots of palms. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you know that bananas is not a tree? Really? Yeah, it's a herb. No way. Yeah, at least that's what the little placard inside said. That's why I learn something new every day. Yep. There's a yellow squirrel. Several squirrels back there. And of course the geese. They keep following us. It's crazy how much nature there is out here. I think the squirrels think we got something for them. So this is the entrance for the Rotary Century Plazas. And it's just right off of the botanical gardens. Well, Debbie doesn't know it, but part of the reason we came into the Rotary Centennial Park is so I could check out the trains. Hi, we're coming to you recorded live from AV Camping and RV Park. And so we want to show you around a little bit. This campground has over 100 sites. Most of them are full through. There are a few on the side that are back end. And right beside... Tell them. Tell them what's cool about this campground. <laughs> right beside the office where you check in, they serve barbecue, pork, brisket, chicken, and they also do tacos. They smoke it all here. So when you get up in the morning, you can smell the smoke from the smoking going on. A lot like when you go to those grocery stores where they're serving the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> We had the pulled pork the very first night we got here and it was really good. And then after that, every day we could smell them smoking more meat for that evening. And it's been very tempting to go back for more, but we haven't. And here is where they smoke all that barbecue that they sell at the restaurant. Oh, it smells so good. Can y'all smell it? Sorry guys, it's a little windy today, but if you've seen any of our previous videos, you know that when we go to record, it's windy outside, and today is no exception. But this is our site. We're in site G12. We're right at the beginning of the entrance. We're only about five spaces in, but this has been a great spot. We get to watch all the RVs come and go, so that gives us a chance to see what else is out there. We have a little concrete patio with a picnic table. It kind of looks like it's covered with some cottonwood cotton, but that's all right. We actually have a little play yard, which is cool. Not all sites have that, but we do. Our hookups are over here. We have our water, sewer, and electric right here together. We did leave the tow dolly hooked up this time, and we are pulled forward in our space a little bit more than we were when we were here for the week because we went and got propane for the RV. So we're leaving tomorrow and we pulled up so that we can go ahead and get the car hooked up so we can fly out of here. <gasps> He's driving. Who is that? It's for real this time. Got stuck <laughs> in traffic. Hi Sally. <laughs> <laughs> 